What's up dudes, today we're looking at the Synology media server and this is one of the apps that you that is a complete must-have on your Synology device. Why is it a complete must-have if you if you're asking that question? It's really great if you want to stream your content, your videos and your photos and all that stuff straight over to your television. That is what you want it for and it's easy. As the other applications, it's just easy to use and uh, that is one of the things that I noticed after using it for a while that it's intuitive like the photo application there's not much to it you just click it clack and then it's good to go you don't have to be a computer professional and that is what is so great about this app so what you always do is that you go to you go to DSM or you can go straight to the download center. We're just gonna go to download center because there's not really a reason to read what it does because I'm gonna explain that to you guys. Oh, uh, and let's scroll down, down, down. And we get to the media server. So let's go with Europe as we usually do. It's downloaded. We're gonna access the media NAS. And we're gonna click on package center. We And you go on install, you click on install and update. Pick the file that you have download it click on install and update in the package center you pick your file where you have downloaded it to you're gonna click on media server boom next and just as easy as every other application you just click click three times and it will run straight after the installation so I mean that is that it, it doesn't get any easier than that and you're just gonna wait for it to install and after you've done that you basically just click use and we are live and ready to go so what you do now is that you have three folders after you have installed the media server and now you can stream over DLNA to your TV or you can just get it to stream straight down to your laptop or your desktop or your media center and all that good stuff so that, that is really nice that's a really nice addition so when, what you do is when you want to stream let's say a movie uh, you have on your NAS you're gonna put the file the media file into the folder called video it makes completely sense but if you want to stream it over DLNA you have to put it in the folder called video the same with music or uh, photos to your TV if it supports DLNA that is <clears throat> and as it supports DLNA you can just basically if your TV is hooked up to your internet it's hooked up to your router or a switch or whatever on your network it automatically finds your media NAS if it's on the same network and it's really important that it is but it finds your your media NAS and it instantly finds the files that you have on your NAS you might have to log in with your uh, your admin name and your password but after you've done that it's all good it's just ready to go and you have a great way to stream your files down to your TV or for that matters your Apple TV or any other of the small media center devices but what you do here is that you can click on media center and there's basically just some menus here when you can uh, ask it to write the code in a different way when you want to stream your files but as I've noticed it's not necessary to do this I mean uh, just keep it as it is, keep your files in the right folders and basically things uh, things just sort themselves out. It's not that complicated, it's just get the files in the folder and hook it up to your network, hook your TV up to your network and boom you're ready to go, you're streaming. There is an application called XPMC that supports all bit rates and supports all file types so that is kind of the way you want to use your NAS, you want to use it as storage uh, it's a great place for storage, a great place for photos, and you can use your television for the media server uh, thing application. It's, it's great for that, but if you want to stream your music and your, your, your home movies and your files and all that stuff to your television, you need a, you need a media center and, or a laptop or something like that you can put on it, and you need to install a client called XPMC, when you've done that, it's a great way to use your Synology NAS. That's the best way there is to stream your, your media to your television and to get it on the big screen. That is the best way I've found out. But I'm gonna show that to you guys in another video so this doesn't get too long. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You've seen how easy it is to set up. Uh, you've seen how easy it is to use on your television. And uh, I hope you enjoyed guys. And please check out Synology.com uh, they have been kind enough to send this device to me and uh, please subscribe to my channel and like the video if you 
found this somewhat interesting and please uh, please like me on the Facebooks. Alright guys, so that's been it. Del Huge Louts and uh, have a nice day. Thank you.